Um, I want to thank uh, Ted for this uh, invitation and all, um, I feel this energy of all inspiring people here and people that get inspired. I think it's very good for Curacao because so many things we organize, but it's for the wrong reasons. And here it's really about positivity and things we really can learn from. That's what I want to say before I start. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what's wrong with this uh, picture? I will tell you that being responsible for your own life, success and fulfillment, that would be apt to actually, when I was finished with this presentation, I want to say it's acting responsible. Because we all are and we all want to be, but when do we act? We will talk a lot, but we don't do a lot. A lot of people here, they act, and that's the difference. Okay, we can continue. I was born in 1971 in a place called Amsterdam. You all heard of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and my name is Joost Nauta. Uh, some will know me as Joseph on this island, and I will tell you why. Yeah, who am I? I'm a family member. I got an older sister, a mother and a father, as everybody has a family to start from. My story is a, is a little different. I'm going to tell you about this. I'm an entrepreneur, and I, uh, I'm an owner, and I'm a general manager of a company in, in Holland. And um, yeah, recently we started a company in, in Curacao, and that's a big challenge. Okay. Also, I'm a motivational speaker, so on, on certain occasions, people ask me to, to talk with them, to inspire them, or to solve some issues about motivation or inspiration where there's a lack of that. Okay. Yeah, why Joseph? Well, it was my nickname on the street. I, uh, I was a little uh, Amsterdam-born boy in The Hague with Jewish background. So I was Joseph. So that was my name. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to pronounce. Much better than Joost or Ghost. So that's why it was Joseph. <laughs> well, it's also the son of Jacob. And Jacob was a, was a man and he had a lot of sons. It's an inspiring story in the Old Testament. And they even make, uh, they made a, a, a musical about it. So it's a quite good story. People who believe or don't believe, it's a great story to tell. Why not? So we go next. <laughs> yeah, what, what, why do, do I do what I do? I can sit back and watch uh, cable TV all day. And I get the pay from the government. I don't need to work if I don't want to. But that's not an alternative. I want to mean something. If I have to do something that is like a hard work, my life is hard work, then I want to like make it count. And I'm not satisfied yet. I achieved a lot, and I'm satisfied with what I achieved, but I'm not done yet. So when you get that urge to do something, that's a driving force to, to really go over something that you really want. Well, this is the thing what I just said. Life is hard, better make it count, and enjoy it while I can. So that's a good... Um, reason to do what I do. <laughs> yeah, it's like people tell me that life, that my life means something for them, and that's great to hear. In the past, I always thought, well, mind your own business, you know, it's like I go out, people come to you, talk a lot of, yeah, things to you that I admire you. I said, what the f Richard? <laughs> uh, yeah, let me be, you know? But after a while, I, I understand, 
are understood. So I try to use it, you know, for, my, for their benefit, but also for myself. What, yeah, what I do, now it's a sport. If somebody sits with something, I try to reason with them, try to talk with them, and see what I can do. Sometimes people pay me for it, but the best jobs that, yeah, you never paid for, because I do it in juvenile, I do it in schools. Well, it's a big company, they can pay me, but the best jobs are never about money. Okay, so last thing I do, I just work, like everybody else. Managing my business, get up in the morning, and do my stuff. Okay, next. Yeah, in between, I try to stay healthy, because I got a strict uh, life, um, yeah, how you say it? Procedure that I have to live by. So I try to do that, and uh, once in a while, I uh, listen to the doctor, what he has to say, and <laughs> you know? Sometimes it helps, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what were the odds? When I started, it was a different time as we live now. It's like this was the place I was born in. It was a big place, and I was three years old when I lived here with a big fence around it. So I was born in a, in a family that was not so functional as, yeah, people wanted to be. That's why I, I, uh, I, I went away when I was three, because, yeah, they could not take care of me. First, the doctor tell me, uh, actually, he told my parents, I would be five years old. And that was like the expectation. That was the, the story they tell my parents and my teachers. So there was no like reason to give me good education and give me good yeah support. They just want me to be a child and I do what I can. Many times I was sick. In the hospital, out of the hospital. So yeah, there was a different route. That's why I grew up in a home so my parents could like, you know, do their own thing. So there's the thing. Yeah, I just talked about and um, I would do, uh, now and then I blew in the, in the mic. Don't get scared, it's all uh, under control. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, when I was four, then the parents got divorced. My mother was very ill. She had like a mental sickness and my father went away. So that's why uh, it was not so, not a very inspiring uh, home. That, yeah, when you're a teen, yeah, then you get like a low self-esteem, you know? that you don't know, because nobody puts you to the limit. Yeah, that's the thing, eh? it's all about role models. We all need them. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real role model because I roll all day, but, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm so funny today, but uh, that's a real problem because there were no people around like uh, in a wheelchair I could look up to and see if they achieved something. I didn't know Stephen Hawking, by the way, when I was five years old. So then I went to another home, I came in contact with a lot of things like on the street, like crime, violence and, and drugs and so. So that's for me, um, yeah, very, uh, my, my dreams were not like, I want to be a policeman. I want to be a drug dealer, you know? <laughs> and that was not a joke, but the only reason I didn't do it because I didn't have no brothers. <laughs> you know, yeah, you can trust nobody, so why the heck, I, I, don't, I don't do that. <laughs> but I didn't know what to do, I didn't have a job, I didn't have anything. So I never planned nothing I did for today. I was always happy today. I got some money in my pocket. 
Uh, it's all, yeah, it's all cool for me. You understand? <laughs> okay, we can go to the next one. Yeah, this is the whole thing. How we get able instead of disabled. I was always positive. When people knew me, when I was like, like, like a, a child, I lived in this home that was very depressing. I was never depressed. I was always, yeah, doing my stuff. So that's what I did, and yeah, that's something I'm very grateful for. Yeah. <laughs> I always give what I got, and I use what I have. So <laughs> what I have, I put somewhere where I can make it more of it. So if I got the talent, I make it count twice. And if I got something to share, I don't share it with people. So you know, next time, yeah, we help each other. So that's how we do. Yeah, I did some study. I became like a social worker. And uh, I want to, I thought, yeah, I have to talk a lot to social workers in my, yeah, as a patient. I thought they all get paid, and all they do is talk. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that too. <laughs> so I did that, and I became a social worker, and I never became one, because Back in the days, I was very young, and I thought, no, I cannot help, help all these people with their problems. I be became an entrepreneur. <laughs> Helping others is the key to success. <laughs> because when you're in my position, you always need help every day, every minute of the day. In my home, I can do a lot of stuff by myself, but uh, because I got a lot of adaptions and everything I do, but when you help somebody else, that makes you count. And that makes you feel like you contribute to something. And that's what's important. Yeah, last thing, I just like a challenge, that's who I am. So, uh, yeah, I like solving problems. Well, yeah, who inspires me? There are a lot of people that inspire me. I cannot put them all on the stage today. Some of them don't live no more. Uh, I have a dream too. That's like what Luther King had a dream. I want to be free too. Um, I said to some, some people in juvenile, I said to them, I'm in lock up for life. But I still do what I do. So don't whine. You understand? You can come out and make your life better. So that's what I do. So what I always do, is make a dream and meditate on it. I meditate, I think it over, and when I think it over, I, 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 I make it all visual for myself. Yeah. And that's how you create your destiny. It's all in the brain. The biggest muscle is in the brain. I'm the best driver there is, because I know how to drive, even I don't drive. Yeah, I drive this car, but I can, you know, I know things because I practice, you know? I have to believe in stuff. Believe is crucial as the key of everything. Just like Joseph said, he had a dream and he believed in it. So that was the key to his success. So that's the whole thing. If you believe in something, it unleashes powers, yeah, you cannot imagine. Well, there, you know these two people? I don't know, one is dead and one still lives, I think, but uh, they invented a big uh, thing, it was called flying, and uh, it changed the whole world, you know, to learn to fly. It was all because they dare to do something. So, dare to dream. Dare to let go. If you go somewhere, pack a light. Don't come with a, with a lug of luggage. Don't go, go, come with a suitcase. Come with your hand luggage. It's all you need, you know? Because otherwise, it just holds you back. They have to make mistakes. A lot of success is built on mistakes. So don't bother about it. Just make it count next time you do it right. 
there to be successful. A lot of young people nowadays don't dare to think about success. They all talk about it, but what does it mean? To be really successful, it's so important. So that's what we do, is we try to talk to them and, and let them feel what it is, let them experience. Do. Somebody know this guy? Yeah? Well, the other guy here, <laughs> before he, he, he stepped on the moon, this one, he does it for pleasure. You know? <laughs> Richard Bryson is going to be the like, first one. <laughs> or maybe in Curacao, they're going to do it too. <laughs> to have like a commercial, yeah, spaceship where you can like travel with. Because the guy does do. <laughs> make decisions, that's all about doing. <laughs> when you do, do stuff, you make a decision to go do it. <laughs> the day you make a decision is the best thing, the best part of your life. <laughs> first things first, so good. Yeah. <laughs> if you act each day, all the days that people sleep are working. <laughs> All the days I sleep, some people of you in this room are working because there are a lot of inspiring people in this room. But it's all about action. If you don't have action, nothing's going to work. <laughs> well, be effective. That's all what matters. If you're really effective, <laughs> like me, I, I have a disease. I don't have a lot of time for every day because I think a lot of time to care over me. You know, like getting out of bed, getting eat, getting food, going to the toilet, like everything. So everything I do have to like be effective. And I want to have some fun in between. So it's a lot of planning. <laughs> Set goals, score goals, and be competitive. This island has to be competitive in the region. <laughs> because if you're competitive, you get stronger every day. It's like a sport. It's like something you want. It's like a, a team effort. OK? <laughs> drive. Yeah, drive. I do it all day. <laughs> but driving is, is like your inner force. <laughs> this guy had a drive. He was in jail for like decades. And it's still a drive. That's powerful. <laughs> you have to keep on moving. You have to like be able to, yeah, how you see it. Don't stand still. Don't look back all day. Keep on moving forward. <laughs> Can you go back one, please? <laughs> keep on moving. It's also like when Nelson Mandela came out of jail, <laughs> he didn't chase all the white guys out to kill them. In jail, he, he moved on already. He was much further than everybody else. He knew what he wanted to do, so he moved on. So that's what we need to do. <laughs> now, charge your inner drive. How are we going to do that? I'm going to tell you in the next slide. Your emotion is all that counts, because emotion is like something that you can really hurt but it could also help you. And how do you do that? Because you think about what you want and you think about what you don't want. How does it feel when you don't get what you desire? It's awful, it's painful. I don't want to be in a, in a, in a nursing home eating mashed potatoes all day. <laughs> no, I want to have something for myself. I want to have a beer, like, 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 like the 90 years old uh, man who got a beer in the last speech. <laughs> I want to have a beer too, you know. <laughs> well, that's something that motivates us, you understand? <laughs> but when you use your emotions, you always have to say, I stay in the driver's seat. You, know, so you cannot like, go and be enraged, and that's why you destroy everything around you. You have to, you're in the driver's seat. You use the emotions, but you're the driver. Boom. 
Last thing, dedication is all that counts. In, 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 yeah, with, with, with it all like det being determined. Know what you want. This guy, can you go back to, please? This man, he survived the war, he, he survived the Holocaust. He could have said, I go back, live, retire with my wife, have some fun. But he did it. He wanted justice, so he went for it. He went out for it, to get it, and he gave his whole life to get what he wanted. Okay? When you are dedicated, it's all about, like, it's bigger than you. It, it, your mission is bigger than your ego. It's bigger than you. It's like all that counts. Okay. Share your mission. That's what we all do right here. You share your mission, and so that everybody that sounds appealing to wants to support you and embrace it and lift it up to a higher level. So that's what we do. This Muhammad Ali, he said this. Is the will the better than the skill? I'm not an entrepreneur. I didn't go to business school. I didn't go to, uh, to law school. I did social work for fun. Because, you know, I had something to do. But I went to become an entrepreneur. Is the will that beats the skill? Well, the only key to unlock your dream is you. So if you want to do what's right, you have to work on yourself and stop making excuses, you know, because that's how it is. Nobody's gonna, nobody going to do it for you. Nobody did it for me. Now people support it, but it starts with you. So that's what we do. A little technique. When I was little, I liked Bruce Lee. You understand? So I, I stole a few phrases for him, a little picture. And what it said is like, knowing is not enough, you must apply. We can talk about this presentation, but when you don't apply, it doesn't go nowhere. And willing is not enough, we must do. That's why the first sheet was not good. It was about being responsible. It was acting responsible. That's what counts. I'm going to like get through the three, three little techniques I use. I turn everything around. I flip the script. I like turn the negative into the positive. That's what we need to do sometimes. Think out of the box. Why in the box is very dark. You understand? It's lonely in the box. Get out of the box, man. <laughs> Be flexible, like Bruce Lee. You know. Be flexible if, if this around, if your the environment changes, you have to change with it. You have to bend. Yeah. This, this we used already before. Visualize. Make everything so you can feel it, you can touch it, you can sense it. And then you make it you put it into action. We all compete with ourselves, with our, with, our, with, with our weaknesses. Try to put your personal record every day in everything you do. Make it into a game. You know, serve with a smile. Don't take it too serious. It's all a game, you know, but you have to win it though. Yes. <laughs> this is what I do. I listen to relevant music. It pumps me up all day. You understand? So if I listen to music, it makes me go to where I want to go. That's what helps me. Maybe it helps you, OK? <laughs> yeah, what's in it for you? It was a long, a long talk, maybe a little too long, a lot of slides. But what's in it for you? I think, like, for me, it's like inspiration inspires. So I want to ask you to pass it on to your family or kids or everything, and that, yeah, that's what makes it count. People inspire me. That's how I became at the place, eh, eh? 
hey, we have to jump or so, or flee? <laughs> flee the building? Uh, okay. Now, what's in it for you? I like to know what you think about stuff. You know, I, I, I don't write no numbers down, so you can send me email. Let, let, yeah, let me know how, you, how your experience was, and uh, I would appreciate that. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, Ted.